Kids today face so many challenges from bullying to cyberbullying and just the desire to fit in. Understanding those challenges for Indigenous kids is the purpose behind a new initiative. Mike Glover shows us the Say Yes campaign in tonight's Something Good. July is Minority Mental Health Month, and bringing awareness to the challenges is the first step in getting help for the kids that struggle with it. A lot of people don't recognize when they're going through um, difficulties with their mental health. Making it a challenge to diagnose the problems because for many minority families, the problems are generational. It's hard as even adults to recognize when our children are dealing with mental health issues just because we don't know when we are. Passing the problems down from generation to generation. If you've ever been around a bunch of Native people, like we'll kind of joke about things that hurt or things that are painful to us mentally or just our feelings or anything like that. That is a way that we kind of cope. The challenge for many families is deciding what issues fall under mental health and what classifies as just being a teenager. I mean, we all think that we know our kids. We all think that we you know, know them through and through. But that's not always the case. So the Association of American Indian Physicians has launched the Say Yes campaign. So I could say yes to dancing. Say yes to basketball. Say yes to school. Find the things that they love, like their culture, their heritage, their ways. The campaign is designed to give kids pride in their Indian heritage, thus empowering them to say no to unhealthy things. That way, whenever the peer pressure comes along, they're more able to say, you know, no thank you, that's not what I want, that's not a part of, like, my ways. Now, for more information about the Say Yes campaign, we'll have a link with this story on our website. We also encourage you to watch Amanda Taylor's story about youth mental health. It airs this Wednesday at 10. Getting help for kids that struggle with mental health. That is something good. I'm Mike Glover for Oklahoma Zone. It is so, so important. So on that note, in the aftermath of the pandemic, Sunbeam Family Services says they have been seeing a lot of kids with anxiety and a lot of other issues. So we're raising money to help them continue their mission. Our goal is $2,500. You can donate now through Wednesday. Go to news9.com slash sunbeam and give what you can.